What's up friends? Welcome back to the Scrab Trawlers channel where we do EDH on a budget. We're here for game two of our artisan theme game night. Uh, we're going to go around the table real quick and once again introduce our decks for anybody who missed the introduction for the first game. Uh, Nick, what are you bringing? All right, so we have Gut, True Soul Zealot, and Inspiring Leader. So we're going to make those 4-1 uh, Menace Skeletons into 6-3 Menace Skeletons. Which is big. That's... Which is big, yes. Yeah. <laughs> as, as skeletons for you. Uh, Lenny? Uh, yo, dog, I heard you like tokens, so I put more <laughs> tokens in the pod so you can have tokens going against tokens. Uh, I have got uh, Halson, Emerald Archdruid, with Feywild Visitor, so I'm looking to drop cheap uh, unblockable creatures to make more cheap unblockable token creatures that are fairy dragons, so I can turn them into bear fairy dragons or as the title of this deck goes, uh, Bears with Butterfly Wings. Nice, nice. Yes. Okay, and I am also playing a background commander. Uh, my creature is Aranus, Gloomstalker. Um, brings back a land from my graveyard to the battlefield whenever I attack with them. And my background is Scion of Halister, so the first time I draw a card each turn, I instead will look at my top two, put one in my graveyard, the other into my hand. So I'm aiming to put a whole bunch of lands in my graveyard so I can bring them back with Aranus and uh, do some landfall triggers, maybe a little Voltron, do a little Stompy, we'll see. Uh, Bert, what do you got? Uh, I'm playing Minthara, Merciless Soul. Um, basically, I'm trying to get rid of stuff that I don't want to make some experience counters and make my monsters grow. <laughs> make my monster grow. Love it. Okay, excellent. Um, Bert, you won the dice roll off stream here, so you're going to be starting us off for game two. Good luck, everybody. Have fun. Kill Lenny first. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Draw a card. Let's play a planes. And then it's not a soul ring, but let's start off with a three minute inspector. That's pretty good. Let me get a clue. I will pass her. All right. I will draw. You didn't play a soul ring, but I will. Uh oh, somebody's got to have oh. it. Soul ring and Icker Wellspring. Ooh. When it enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, I draw a card. So that I'll is a, that. a heck of a turn one there. And I will pass a turn. All right, well, mine's not going to be as exciting. I'll draw. Nor will mine. I will play a forest, and I will pass the turn, and I will shout out Enthralamund in chat, because uh, he's a great person. Hey, Enthralamund. Lovely magic playing person. And also awesome artist. Nice. Multi-talented. All right. All right. Draw. Um, let's do... Uh, well, it's going to be an Evolving Wilds into a Swamp. Pass to Bert. All right. Send out, draw. Play a Swamp. What do? Let's uh, move to combat. Lenny, you know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get in there while I can. Bert, and, uh, Bert remembers. And second main phase, let's just cast this uh, Night's Whisper. Yeah. And I will oh. draw two and then lose two. I will pass the turn. All right. We are going to draw. We'll play a Rust Veil Bridge tapped. It is an artifact land. Um, we want very fast skeletons. Tuck, tuck, rubble for it. Again. All right. I'll tap up keep draw. I will play a forest. I will play Sakura Tribe Elder. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice it, reserving blocking rights. Yep. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. What if they're menace? <laughs> <laughs> too bad sorry <laughs> too bad i don't make the rules you all good then yeah i'm good okay untap and draw 
Uh, we're going to do a forest and a skull prophet. Uh, it's a creature. Taps for a black or green, and I can also tap it to mill two. Pass to Bert. Yeah. Let's go. Tap. Draw. It's a good magic card. But so is this. Let's tap three. I will play a morbid opportunist. So whenever one or more other creatures die, I draw a card. Oh, um, any creature. Interesting. Yep. Yeah. And so uh, I'll move to combat. Let's see. Hey, Andy. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to swing one at you. Yeah, the prophet's not blocking. I'll take the one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'll move to mine step and pass her. Okay. We'll untap, upkeep, and draw. Play a mountain. Um, uh, why couldn't you be last turn? Okay, so we are going to play Gut. Gut. <laughs> uh, we're also <laughs> going to play Young Pyromancer. Young Peasy. Man, uh, Spell right, Table's really struggling to pull up these uh, etched foils today. Yeah. Okay. So, how big is Morbid Opportunist? A 1-3? A 1-3, yeah. Perfect. All right, so, Guts going your way. Um, young Pyromancer will stay back. I will sacrifice the Acre Wellspring to make a skeleton. Uh, let's see. That's going to go with Andy. Yep. No blocks. That will draw a card off the wellspring. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block this, uh, this gut. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. And that is me. All right. I'll untap. I'll keep draw. I'm going to take my good sweet time ramping. Uh, I'm going to play a Kodama's Reach. Two green cards in a row, baby. So should we let Bert draw a card for the Morbid Opportunist for the uh, Sakura Tri-Builder? Yeah. I think so. I think that's yeah. fair, because okay. he would have done it at Nick's end step, yeah, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So, Island to Hand... Uh, island to battlefield, island is land for turn, slither blade, uh, one one naga rogue can't be blocked, and I will pass the turn. Okay. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, let's see. Let's do a It's gonna be a Hickory Woodlot. Uh, which comes into play with two depletion counters. Um, I can tap it, remove a depletion counter to add two green mana. When all the counters are removed, I sacrifice it. Um, and I'm going to I'm gonna cast my background Scion of Halister. Hmm. Um, and then then I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Untap. Okay. Draw. Just play a 
planes. I guess I'm a cast and Thar. See if I can start buffing my squad. Ah, um. uh, yeah, I'll pass turn. Are we all tapped out? Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Um, so I'm gonna do what this deck was designed to do. Um, we're going to play Planes. So, we all have haste. All right, good. Great that you did that. It's awesome that your deck was designed to play a Planes. <laughs> <laughs> now just got pass there. the turn, buddy. Uh, we're going to play turn. Franco's Command. Getting me two Goblins. And a, a little Elemental. Oh, yeah. And then you're going to play your background and they're uh it's gonna be all huge good 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 oh, yeah. cool cool inspiring cool, cool. Hmm. cool let's go to combat um we are going to swing let's see Skeleton is going to go at Bird. Let's see. the This Goblin is going to go at Andy. This Goblin is going to go at Andy. This Elemental is going to go at Lenny. Wait a minute. No, I think I did that backwards. These two Goblins are going at Lenny. This elemental is going at Andy, and it will die to gut, making a skeleton going at Andy. Okay, so the skeletons are six threes, and the goblins are three threes. Yes. Well, the skeletons have menace. Mm-hmm. Take that six damage, I guess. Quick game, quick game. It's gonna be a quick one. <laughs> and I will pass turn. That's, that's really going for it, I guess. I don't know. Uh, all right. I'll untap. Up to draw. I'll play forest. Okay, well, we got to get some something happening here. Uh, uh, I guess we would just get beat on for a little bit more. Uh, we're going to play a Spire Tracer. Floodhound. <laughs> And Halson. And then I will go to combat and I will hit Nick for one unblockable. <laughs> Payback. Mm -hmm. That thing has my number tonight. And then I'll pass the turn. Alright. Uh, untap, upkeep, uh, draw. Do two green plus a black. I will play retreat to Hagra. Hagra. Um, it's got landfall. Target creature gets plus one plus zero and gains death. Touch on the end of turn, or each opponent loses a life. I gain a life. Um, land for turn is a warped landscape. We'll do uh, each opponent loses one. I gain one. Alright. And then I will cast Aranus. Gloom Stalker. That's got Death Touch. Sure does. Uh pass the turn. Okay. So Alright. Play a swamp. And 
can hmm. I know this is an instant, but I'm gonna use it as a sorcery. I'm a I'm a deadly dispute second this clue. So I will draw two and make a treasure. Alright. Let's pay one for the soul ring that I definitely didn't just draw. <laughs> oh. Gotta hang on to those for just the right moment. <laughs> And then let's do two and play a hidden stockpile, which is one of my favorite Magic the Gathering cards. Well, it's got raid. Not raid. And yeah, I'm a mood to my instep. Uh, I had a uh, permanent leave the battlefield, so Mentharo makes me an uh, experience counter. Or gives me an experience counter. I will pass the turn. Oh, don't oh, also, get a, get a yeah, servo. I get a servo. Mm, nice. I get a servo. Tom Servo. All right, on tip upkeep and draw. They're very good at drawing mountains. So play planes. Hey. Uh, we'll do two mana for everybody's favorite marching duo drone. Yeah, hey, look at that. <laughs> Treasure! And a raise the alarm. Making two 3-3 three, three soldiers and a 3-3 three, three elemental. Slow oh down, God. buddy. No! <laughs> it's time to go. Ah! Alright, who's not attacking? I think Pyromancer, you're not attacking. Trouble 4, you're not attacking. All right, I would like to go to combat. I guess. I mean, you don't have to. If you must. Yeah, you don't, you don't have to do anything, you know. <laughs> okay. You'd be a nice guy for once. Um, Andy cannot block any of my skeletons, so we're going to make this very, very easy. Uh, Andy, I'm going to send two skeletons at you. Thanks. Uh... Let's see. Lenny, I'm going to send the two, those two goblins at you. And Bert, I'm going to send the rest of these your way. Okay. We all make a treasure? Yes, we all make a treasure. I will sacrifice it to make another skeleton. Um, that one is going to go the way of Andy. Just a casual 18 damage, no biggie. NBD. I'm, st I'm certainly the threat right now. Yeah, how much is coming at me? All right, so you've got a 2-2 two, two, and then three three threes, So 11 total. I think I've just wow. taken six. Uh, if you do not block, yes. Yeah, no. I'm not blocking, not in this economy. Uh... Ah, three threes. This is only is it my instep. Ah, and, and it's eleven. I need my creatures. Why are you like this? <laughs> I'll block Someone's one of the three threes, and okay. uh, so I'll take eight. Let's see, three, six, seven, eight. Yep. Yep. Okay. And then yes. Morbid Opportunist, I will, I will draw a card. Yep, uh, that is it for my turn. All right, uh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. All right, we got to do something. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Feywild Visitor. 
then uh, I'm going to buy us a little bit of time. So y'all need to make the most of this. I'm going to cast sleep. No! <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, if he, if he didn't have haste, I would be more excited about that. But thank you for that. Mm-hmm. My sleepy right. skeletons. And I, and I hope everybody understands when I uh, do my attacks like this. Uh, Nick, you're getting uh, Halson. Yep. Andy, you're getting the Slither Blade. Actually, Andy, you're getting the uh, Spire Tracer, and Bert, you're getting the Slither Blade. Okay. So I can make three tokens. I take one. I will take two. Command of damage. Feeling a and little picked I... on. I don't know why. It's, it's <laughs> damage. I know. <laughs> I know. You can bring it back. It's in. eighteen, it's and then one. I but... Yeah. Okay. You don't like game. You're fine. Yeah. For yeah. me, it's more about getting the uh, sure. getting the fairy dragons. Uh, sign of Halster. Top two. Um. I'm going to put this tranquil thicket into the graveyard. Oh, okay. What are we doing with this mana? I'm going to play a land for turn is a ghost quarter. Uh, trigger retreat to Hagra. You all lose one, I'll gain one. Slowly crawling back. Andy, I would like to remind you that you are within massive raid damage range. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, two green. And then one and two. I'm going to cast one of Nick's favorite cards. Tormod the Desecrator. <gasps> My boy! Um, no, I can kill you. Just can't do it. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to pay three for a harrow. Uh, I sacrifice a land. I search my library for two basic lands and put them on a the battlefield. I will sacrifice this ghost quarter. Let's do a swamp and a forest. Uh, trigger a retreat to Hagra twice. We'll do the life both times. So we should lose two and I'll gain two. Just like that, out of massive raid damage. Yep. Maybe. Um, go to combat. Mr. Bevers with the rate of 14. Mr. Bevers, oh, nice. thank you, buddy. Oh, thank you, Mr. Bevers. Happy to have you all here. How we doing? Um, I'm going to attack Nick for six. Yep. Uh, trigger Aranus. Uh, that'll be Evolving Wilds is leaving my graveyard. I'll make a tapped zombie with Tormod. Well. Um, you'll all lose a life. I'll gain a life. Did you gain your two for uh, the Harrow? I thought so. I might not have. You should be at 15 oh, yeah. right now. You're right. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, I can't block, so I'm just going to take six. Okay. Got him. Um, I'm in danger. I think I'm just going to go ahead and sacrifice this Evolving Wilds. I'm going to get a forest. You all lose one, I'll gain one. Yep. 
After that, I'll be done. Hey. Sleep really is just kind of a blue shell of a card, uh -huh. isn't it? Yeah. That's why I like uh, Kona Cold so much. Yeah. Let's float this black. Play ours off Basilica. Mouse is back in my hand, so one floating. Two, three. Four, five. So I'm going to cast. Uh, Commander Staple, I guess. Um, join the Maestros. Um, I'm going to sacrifice this creature with two power because it has plus one plus one. Um, so I will make two, four, three black ogre warrior creature tokens. That is Ooh. a sweet card oh, wow. in that deck. <laughs> and, wow. Uh... Oh, here we are. So yeah, I make two dudes. And I wish my dudes had haste. Right? That sounds like fun. That's on us for not playing red. Yeah. <laughs> true, true, true. Also, I guess we gotta say uh, DTN, 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 first time chatter. Welcome to the scrap heap. Yeah, and thanks for the follow, friend. Appreciate you. Okay, do I have anything after that? Uh. Kill Nick. I wish I could murder Link. Uh, I probably should have swung first with the, the servo to, for maximum damages. I think um, y'all can just kill me on this next loop around. But, uh, so I'll just, yeah, I'm gonna move to combat and swing five at Nick. You got it. Alright, that is. Three damage. Mm -hmm. All around. Hey. Hey. Um, <laughs> I'll move my end step. And so Minthara and then I get another servo, because a servo left. Alright. Will we draw anything that's not a land? We will not. Well, that was a quick game, friends. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to pass the turn right there. This might actually beat out our artifact episode for quickest game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, untap. Upkeep. Draw. No. It's not like... Let's go to combat. Uh, all right, so Spire Tracer at Andy. Boo. Slither Blade at Bert. Boo. Let's go two Fairy Dragons at Nick. Oh, no. Oh, Nick, you don't have any other additional blockers. Uh, no, I have nothing. You can just kill me outright. Uh, yeah, no, I'm going to leave other people to do that. Uh, <laughs> and let's see, we're going to go... Uh, so, Halson and two Fairy Dragons at Nick, and they will be uh, they will be beefed up. Uh, and then, Andy, you're going to get one Fairy Dragon and a... Uh, the Spire Tracer, and it's a beefed up Fairy Dragon. Or sorry, no, Bert, you're getting the Slither Blade and the Fairy Dragon beefed up, and Andy, you're getting the uh, Spire Tracer. Okay. So I'm taking five? You're taking one, Andy. Uh, Bert's taking uh, five. five. Oh, I'm not getting any dragons? You're Yeah, no dragons for you. Oh. I will take one, ten. Okay. And that is three people hit with a non-token, so I'll make one, two, that's another. I could be drawing these, but I'm just lazy. God, so lazy. Three. Um, let's go ahead and let's, one, two, three. 
I'll play a Spring Bloom Druid, which I assume is also an Andy's deck. And oh, I will yeah. sacrifice a forest, and I will go find a forest and an island. And then I will pass the turn. All right, end of your turn. I'm going to pay a black to cycle this Baron more because it'll be the first card I draw this turn. Uh, Scion of Halister. I will look at my top two. I'll put this forest in my graveyard and this other card into my hand. What could it be? Who knows? <laughs> All right, untap, upkeep, draw. Look at my top two. I'll put this swamp into my graveyard. Let's do um, one, two. I'm going to cast another background, Agent of Shadow Thieves. So whenever my commander has, whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent has more life than that player, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature, it gains death touch and indestructible until end of turn. Oh, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> Oh, you got the most life, Lenny. Look at you. I mean, yeah. I mean, how good is Death Touch and Indestructible anyway, though? Like, you know. Um, let's do two. I'm gonna cast a Scola Grave Dancer. So this says, whenever a land card is put into my graveyard from anywhere, I gain a life. And I can pay three, put the top card of my library into my graveyard. Or mill one. You know. um, let's... I mean, we can't let Nick live, right? Because he'll just demolish us on his turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna let Nick like you know you could all sides. We should consider all sides in this argument. <laughs> but I'm inclined to murder each and every one. <laughs> Bert's also got two six threes over there, and it's just uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got stuff. It's a problem. Um, I'm just honored to be mentioned in the conversation. <laughs> <laughs> you should uh you should let Bert kill me so he can get proper revenge. Revengeance. Revengeance. <laughs> I want revenge too for that eighteen damage. Oh, I didn't do that. He did. You, you oh, just anyway, did. that was this game. <laughs> that was this game, <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, you mean this eighteen oh, damage? This one. Oh. Okay. Uh, Aranus is going at uh, Lenny. Uh, Tormod is going at Nick. No, my boy. Uh, trigger Agent of the Shadow Thieves. Uh, we'll put a plus and plus and counter on Aranus. It gains Indestructible. It's a 4 4 with Death Touch Indestructible. Um, Aranus's trigger will bring a land back. It's going to be. A Hickory Woodlot, Trigger Tormod, I'll make another zombie. Um, trigger what Retreat. Going off? Retreat to Hagra, <laughs> you all lose a life, I'll gain a life. Yep, going to nine. Um, did I miss any other triggers? I don't think so. Yeah, those are my attacks. Four at Nick, four at Lenny. I'll go to five. I will block with the Spring Bloom Druid. Okay. Um, that will that'll do it for me. Pass to Bert. Okay. So the good news is I won't be around <laughs> for everybody else to kill everybody. 
<laughs> I don't have to make that decision. Like, do I attack or not? I mean, I only have six mm. one one flyers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, Bert, making you think twice about killing me, huh? Huh? My lead. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I get. If I if I can play my favorite card, I think I have to. One, two, three, four, five. You should always play your favorite card. Well, mm -hmm. since you said it, even though it's it's gonna put me closer to death, but it does a, a, a good thing. Um, I'm gonna cast Minions Murmurs. Ooh, nice. So uh, I would like to draw X, which is five, and lose five life. Where you know, wow. So I would like to draw five. Hey Bert, maybe this will make it easier for you. Mm -hmm. If you don't kill me, I promise to kill Andy and Lenny first, and second. Why? Well, that doesn't give me revengeance, though. <laughs> you, you can kill me after I'm done. I don't I can't stop you. I don't know if that's true. I mean, I got two lands in my hand. It's not true right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I don't know. Lenny did win last game. I don't, I don't know. That's just, yeah. just true, but like yeah. also, like that's one drawing a massive raid. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're, yeah. You're, you're, you're out of massive one. raid range. Nick's going to be a lot harder to deal with once he untaps all those creatures. Yeah. That aren't swinging at you. Right? 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 <laughs> Bert's in, in that range. Don't Bert's you want another eight. treasure? Don't you want another you? I'm just, yeah, I'm at eight. I don't know. I think I have to murder you, but first I'll play. Because <laughs> nothing's left just yet, but let me let me play for you a commander staple. Some tech that you have never seen before. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm going to tap one. I'm going to play commander staple inquisitive puppet. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to scry one. Oh, that card's so Aww. good. Poor Pinocchio. Uh, Just uh, wants yeah. to be a real boy. Well, he is about to be a real boy because I'm ex. You know, Bird, if you want to play that card on top, you should just don't kill me. <laughs> and I'll make sure that you don't die. I don't know. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I need it so bad. I don't know. I'm seeing monks, so apparently it's a human monk. I don't know. I'll find a, the actual human in a second. But yeah, uh, so permanent left. That's all I needed. Um, yeah. Let's move to combat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You got it. He has that, that all important one mana up, right? Uh, technically, too. I got a treasure open. Yeah, you got a treasure. I got that Man. Birds of Paradise treasure because they are a treasure. Yes, they are, aren't they? Um, let well, me deal with Lenny. Let you deal with Lenny. I don't, I don't know. I don't think I can trust you, is the bad part. What? You can't. <laughs> I. <laughs> you can't. You get something Especially not at 8 life. Uh. So, it, would you would you want the alpha strike? Yeah, let's give you the alpha strike. Let's, I'm gonna swing uh, all of this out. Wait, Damn. all of it? Why? Yeah, I don't know. Might have shenanigans. Okay. Yeah, I might um, I I don't. I have two lands in my hand. I don't know. I don't think I can trust you. So <laughs> those two lands could they could be. They could be common spell lands. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're right. They could be the same spell lands. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Dead. So you take an amount of damage. I am dead. Uh, Lethal. Hell, lightning greaves. Boo. We didn't want. Oh. That. Okay. Second main phase. Um, I drew. I drew Lulu again, which hey. is why I wanted to. <laughs> which is oh. why I wanted to. To mix smack you, um, yeah. That sleep was brutal. Yeah. So I will move to my instep. Uh, 
Lulu will do her thing. And Thara will do hers, my little warriors. But yeah, um, I oh. am done after that. Alright, well, uh... I hope I see the top card in my library. It's so good, y'all. It's so good. Then I get another so You got six fairy dragons. Uh, let's untap. Draw. No. It's my only weakness. <laughs> <laughs> Flying creatures. This is definitely <laughs> enough to kill uh, at least one of us. Maybe both. I think Maybe I both. could do both. Do you have any uh, flyers, Bert? Uh, no, no flyers. Uh, oh, uh no, I got Lulu. The <laughs> elephant flies. <laughs> Why do I keep forgetting? Because <laughs> elephants I, aren't meant to fly. Clearly. I have an elephant angel that flies. I didn't know she was an angel. <laughs> uh, huh. Hey, James. Hey, James. James. This is actually kind of tough. I can't quite do it. So, so sad, sad for you. Hate it for you. Yeah. What do we do here? Um, Pass a turn. No, we eliminate one player. Uh, just who is it? Oh, boy. I love you. Oh, that's so sweet. Uh... <laughs> but it's raw. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. <laughs> uh, this is so tough. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, let's do this instead. Let's go ahead and let's cast Secrets of the Golden City, and let's draw some cards. Cards good. Let's see if that changes my uh, my outlook on life. So I have the city's blessing because I certainly have ten permanents. One, two, three. Oh, uh, that didn't really change my outlook on life, but it did give me another land, so that's cool. Hey. I like lands. Congrats. Um, hmm. And all of that that nonsense that's happening over there. Uh okay. Well, it's certainly something. So we're going to go ahead and tap one and a two. And we're going to play Callous Dismissal. And I'm going to bounce Lulu. I can't believe you've done this. Harsh. And I'll amass Hack. one. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, Callous Dismissal is 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 a lenient card now because you played it in the other day. No, I don't think I don't know about you. Okay, uh, then I think is that that's all your flyers, right? Yep, that's all my flyers. Magnemite uh, does not fly. Does not fly, unfortunately. Oh, it, it might in the new game, maybe. Maybe. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. One, two. I'm going to make two original fairy dragons into four fours. Oh, I need to do one more. Why you got to be it? Oh, you know what? No, I don't have to do it like that. Okay, this is what we're going to do. Uh, four. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good. This is good. I love this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, Andy, you're getting the Slither Blade. Bert, you're going to get the uh, Spire Tracer. Andy, you're going to, and Bert, you're each going to get a souped up fairy dragon. Uh, mm -hmm. Then. A regular fairy dragon each. And then let's 
see that's yeah another fairy dragon each so each of you uh assuming you don't have flying blockers is gonna take one five six seven seven is lenny showing okay. bert mercy okay hey I, I can't block it's like seven there's got to be something he something here yeah, that's there... gonna happen. <laughs> he wouldn't just leave you. He wouldn't just leave you at one. No, I, I don't. No, I don't believe it. No. Uh, and uh, that's two fairy dragons. And since Andy Flurry's in chat, I'm going to use these guardian project uh, tokens. Oh, shoot. You, well, you hit lethal on both. Eh? Uh. I think yeah. You pump two. You pump three uh, dragons, and right, and you can kill them. Just or two. Not have three. Just two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm leaving Bird right? at one, and I'm leaving Andy at nine. Hmm. But why? Why would he do that? Okay. And I'll pass the turn, and I'll get to drawing. He's actually leaving Bert at one. <laughs> like I can't believe it. There's got to be some some gimmick. Yeah, I'm still I'm still I, trying to read the fine print. So. I don't, <laughs> Lenny, what's what are you doing? <laughs> uh, he doesn't okay. want to kill our newest member. Well, he's an imposter. I had, no, I had no trouble doing that in the first game. Uh, end of your see. turn. I'm gonna use Skull Prophet to mill two. Uh, no lands. Got an Undercity Informer and a Sylvan Scrying. The worst at drawing. All right, go to my turn. Untap. Uh, upkeep and draw. Scion of Halister. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right, Lenny. I I literally can't count. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing? Oh, I can't count. That's why. I'm going to. Put this forest into the graveyard. Uh, trigger Scola, I'll gain a life. And then. I don't know if I can get anything else with this, but I'm going to try. Um, I'm going to tap Hickory Woodlot for two green mana. I'm going to cast Time of Need. I'm going to go search for a legendary creature. I I think there's one other one in here. I don't remember what it is, so hopefully it's good. I could totally be wrong, too. I was going to say, like, then why would you play it? There's oh. got to be a reason. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I remember. It's Tormod. Uh, well, Tormod is the main thing I want to get with it, but this other one is good, too. No. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, I can get... How many blockers do you have, Lenny? Quite a few, right? Uh, I have four. Five, okay. actually. Okay, then... I appreciate that Trogdor fairy dragon. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> then it's gonna be Sir Conrad. Ah. Hmm. 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 Yes. Hmm. Mm. Damage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just in here like yeah i can take one of those i can take one of those damages <laughs> that you were talking about. <laughs> I, I literally have to kill lenny in order to survive um i will um let's go ahead and cast old connie Is that good? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You assume just because I'm running blue, I'm running a ton of counter spells. I'm I'm having nightmares from our off stream game where oh, like everything yeah. I played, <laughs> every play I did got countered. <laughs> um. I'm gonna go ahead and use Skull Prophet to mill two. 
Uh, that is going to be a creature. Oh, no. Sorry, birds. In the <laughs> One, one damage oh. to both of you. Yep. Um, Jesus. Go to combat. <sighs> yeah. I literally have to, because I'm I'm dead on your turn. Um, all these are coming at you. Uh, trigger Aranus. We'll get back a swamp that'll trigger. Oh yeah, Tormod. do you want to drain or? Tormod. Yep, you'll lose one. I'll gain one from retreat. Um, is there anything else? I think that is. Uh, I think that's it. So you've right, got. So um, let me add this up for you. So we've got Aranus should have another plus and plus encounter. That's a 5 5, Death Touch Indestructible. The Grave Dancer is a 2 2, Tarma is a 4 2, and then you got two 2 2 zombies coming at you. All right. Uh, I will block Aranus with my zombie army. Okay. Uh, I will block your Skola Grove Dancer with, a, uh, with Halson. Who happens to be a two four for some reason? Okay. Uh, Tormod is going to be blocked by a fairy dragon, which I'm gonna just swap out. I'm gonna tap this. I'm gonna swap out like one of the spirit tokens because I spent time to draw this. Okay. And then there's should be two two twos left. Yeah. I will take my chances with that. Okay. Uh, so you're taking four from the unblocked zombies. Uh -huh. um, two of your creatures died, right? E one of them. One creature died? Uh, yeah, the one I'm blocking with one. You're blocking Aranus and Tormod. Oh, yeah, Tormod, yeah, yeah, yeah. So... yeah, two, 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 okay. two, two of them. Two of them. And I have Skola, Grave Dancer, dying, so you're going to take three damage from Conrad. And then four okay. damage from the zombies. Putting me to 11. Hey, twinsies. Yeah. Um, I'm going to second main. Each player mills one with Conrad. Okay. It is not a creature. Island. Okay. And then I say good game. All right. GG. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Lenny, Lenny both won games. both games. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. We we uh, still kind of love you. I Lenny. mean, that was fun. Maybe Earth I should stop like playing really Lenny. awesome. Those are fun decks. I really like them. Yeah, oh, yeah. Artisan is a fun format. I don't know. I don't know that this um strategy that i'm playing works so well without access to rares but it's uh it's definitely a fun deck to play but it's not good that's uh, how i felt about mine too i thought yours was really good yeah i liked your yeah card. oh man uh the top card was the uh, archetype of courage by the way which oh, yes, is all my archetypes. creatures first right and i just i wanted it so bad it makes a difference um so yeah let's go around the table everybody talk about what you thought of your deck nick uh your deck which is now has to be named what what in the gut tell us <laughs> <laughs> which uh bert might be too young to know that reference oh no i don't <laughs> <laughs> nick what'd you think of your deck all right so i i built it with um like Zendikar and Scars of Mirrodin standard in mind. Uh, there are Bushwhackers in the deck. Uh, and well, what else we got? We got a Memnite in the deck. Look at that. Look at that beautiful Memnite. Ooh. So play a bunch of stuff, kill it. There's a weird Abiding Grace uh, like package in the deck. So you sack oh. the thing, bring it back. So that's kind of cool. There's your, your fun Bushwhacker. Um, quest for the Goblin Lord. You kind of have... There's like a Goblin sub theme in here as well. All your tokens get... Plus two plus so, so that's sweet. Promise of Bunray is an all-star in this deck. You sacrifice the thing, you make 
12 power for three mana. That seems fine. No big deal. And then, uh, Bert, I got you. I don't have the archetypes in here, but I do have anger and valor. Because you <laughs> eat them. And then you get those effects anyway. But yeah, deck is super sweet. Uh, it kind of takes advantage of Artisan's lack of board wipes. Um, I, I did play one. It's uh, that Vampire's Vengeance from one of the Innistrad sets where it deals two damage to each non-vampire creature at instant speed. And you get a blood token. So, so yeah, uh, deck's pretty fun if uh, if you want to play like, you know, super super fast aggro tokens in Artisan. Check out this deck; it's pretty sweet. Sweet Lenny, who won both games tonight. Tell us about this monstrosity you concocted. <laughs> well, um, it's pretty much what you saw is what the deck is all about for the mm -hmm. most part. Uh, I do have a couple of cute cards. It has a lot of card draw because I kind of like started falling into making it like an Edric Spy Master of Trust deck. Mm -hmm. um, so I had, like Keeper of Fables to draw cards. Uh, Keep Watch. I had a lot of flyers. So Siani, you know, Reconnaissance Mission. Um, things that made me excited about this deck actually running scrim sprites <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow and then that's awesome and then also sleep with the fishes because uh I'm, i was i was so geared up to make like oh i'm gonna get all those fish cards and then it turns out there's like only three of them and, <laughs> and one of them's blue white <laughs> yeah one and of one of them is blue white fits, yeah. yeah so i'm running all of the ways that i could get fish in my uh in my uh color combination uh, a little bit of 1-1 one -one counter synergy with the Loyal Guardian and Novigen Heart of Progress. Um, a card that I've actually been super high on uh, is Campfire, uh, especially if you're running, like, partner commanders. Uh, this is a really nice way to, like, you shuffle your graveyard into your library and put your commanders you own from the command zone or your graveyard into your hand. So kind of like that nice, like, command beacon effect, but it works for all your commanders. Um, and then... The cutest synergy I found that I was so excited that I never got to see was uh, Witch's Oven. Because I could turn one of my fairy dragons or like one of my other tokens into a 4 4, sacrifice it, and make two foe tokens, which I could then turn into two 4 4s. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, well, that's just pretty much all the deck does is just attack you with unblockable flyers. Yes. Um, yeah, the Flyers thing was obviously a huge weakness uh, in my deck. I, I I don't think I had any Flyers in here or any ways to deal with Flyers. I had some removal in here, but I didn't draw any of it. Um, yeah, my deck is fun, but it, it definitely needs uh, more of a way to close out games. I don't know if I need to lean even more into Voltron with Aranus or what, but uh definitely need some more removal and uh i had more token generation here but um again it wouldn't have helped me against flyers so other than that I, I liked it it was a fun deck and something i didn't i've never done before with the uh lands matters type graveyard stuff obviously there's better commanders for this strategy but uh it was still fun i enjoyed doing the background commander too it was a lot of fun Bert, tell us about Minthara. Well, you know, when I first built the deck, I really thought it was going to be a lot harder to get the experience counters. Um, I think, oh, I don't know, we were at two or three the second game. But uh, we hit six the first game, which I, that that's it. Like, you can't ask for much. Um, some cards that we didn't get to see, I really wanted to get Nested Shambler out just just to have it be like a lot a little bit thicker and then it dies and then i get that many squirrels that are that strong it, it, it seemed really cool uh contagion clasp uh which is an uncommon um i got I had a fancy version but uh being able to proliferate mm -hmm. uh sends enlistment was something that i really wanted to do is just retrace and make a bunch of dudes and really uh genesis chamber because i have a bunch of non-token creatures and i mean you guys get stuff too but i mean my stuff is going to be bigger than your stuff and it doesn't really matter you know mm -hmm. um but yeah throne of geth is just one of my favorite cards and we play like every one of these dumb when it enters or leaves 
servo cards. Yep. Uh, oh, nice. Make a servo, make a treasure, draw a card, get a land. Like, all of them are just really good in this deck. Um, and then we get to play Hidden Stockpile, which, again, is one of my favorite Magic Gathering cards. Sweet. So, deck was sweet. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I really enjoyed all the decks. They were all... They all got very terrifying at uh, points in the game. Um, very aggro. A lot a lot of aggro going on, but... Uh, yeah, you guys all built very cool decks. Alright, friends. Well, that'll be it for us tonight. Um, we'll be back in about four weeks. September 18th. We will be playing... Our next theme is Mythically Ordinary. We will all be playing commanders that are mythic rares uh creatures that are not legendary so we'll be breaking some rules there um it'll also be our two-year anniversary oh wow look at that so uh man, i don't know party shots of course yeah, yeah. we'll do shots <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah tune into that make sure to check us out on youtube we've been posting a lot on youtube so uh find us there uh we're gonna raid uh, Olivia Gobert Hicks because she needs the followers clearly <laughs> uh, but before we go want to remind you all that as always Black Lives Matter and trans rights are human rights damn right good night no, everybody good night. night 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 make sure to check out our Patreon at patreon.com slash scrap trawlers thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the scrap trawlers channel